I'm Dr. Geraldine Brosfield. Today I'm going over the InBody 570 results sheet. So if you start at the top of the sheet, there's a section that's called Body Composition Analysis. And you want to start there, look to the right side of that section, and you're going to see your total body weight. Your total body weight is made up of all of these different compartments. So the first compartment we want to look at is body water. And there's water that's inside your cell and outside your cell, and that together makes up your total body water. Total body water is an approximation of muscle because water is stored in the muscle, and so this is your muscle content in your body. The next line says dry lean mass, that's your bone. So if you add your muscle and your bone, you get your lean body mass, and you can see that at the top of this segment. Your lean body mass is essentially all of your body except for fat. So if you add the last line, which is your body fat mass, you get your total weight on the right of this section. The second box down is the muscle fat analysis. This section helps you know whether or not the amounts of fat and muscle that you have in your body are in a normal range for your height and your gender. So if you look at the first line where it has your body weight, you can tell by how this graph line moves over to the right and whether it stops in the below normal, the normal, or the above normal range, whether you're on track with your total weight. The next line, the skeletal muscle mass, SMM, that line will also tell you if you're in a normal muscle content range for your height or whether you're under-muscled or over-muscled. Now, skeletal muscle is kind of the magic in your basal metabolic rate. So if from this section you look just to your right on the sheet of paper, you can see where it says basal metabolic rate. And your basal metabolic rate is the number of calories you burn when you're just resting for a day. So this number is honestly the best indicator of how many calories you can eat in a day. Obviously, if you exercise more, you can eat a bit more, and there's a conversion factor your health coach can use to help you calculate how much more you could eat. But the great thing about skeletal muscle mass is that every pound of muscle burns 70 calories per pound of muscle per day, and so your skeletal muscle mass is the way you can increase your metabolism. The more muscle you build, the higher your metabolism will go in regards to how many calories you burn in a day. If you drop to the next line, the body fat mass, which is the bottom line in the muscle fat analysis box, is also an indicator of how many pounds of fat you carry in your body. And you'll be able to see by where that line reaches whether you're in the under fat, normal fat, or over fat range. The next section of the result sheet is the obesity analysis section. This section includes your BMI, which is your body mass index, and your percent body fat, your PBF. So body mass index is used by a lot of government agencies to assess risk. We know of this sort of as a calculation of normal weight, overweight, or obesity. And the problem with the BMI is that it's limited to just looking at your weight and your height, and it doesn't take into account what you're made of. So if you're someone who is a really highly muscled person, your BMI is going to be high, it'll be over or above the normal range because you have more muscle and muscle is heavier than fat. So if your BMI is high, that can sometimes put you in a range where you are told that your health risk is increased. But what's even more accurate is if you drop to the next line, the percent body fat, and you look at your percent body fat to see if it's in the normal range or above. That actually is really the best indicator of whether or not you have any health risks. If your body fat percentage is in a normal range or is extra lean or low, then you have a reduced health risk or no health risk because of your body fat and weight. However, if your body fat percentage is over the normal range, then you start to have the same risk as someone who's obese, even if overall you don't look obese or you had a BMI that was normal. So body fat percentage is the most accurate way you can tell whether you're healthy based on your fitness or your body fat level. The next segment of the result sheet is the segmental lean analysis. And in this segment, it breaks out every part of your body. So each arm, your trunk, each leg, and tells you how many pounds of muscle is in each segment. 
The great thing about this is you can use this to tell what you want to do in your workout regimen. If you notice that you're extra strong in your arms and not so much in your legs, you can choose to focus on your lower body with your trainer or in your workout regimen. Also, many people who are athletes use this section to help them know how to rehab a limb that they've injured. So let's say you injured your right leg, you could know if you had built the muscle back up in that right leg so that it was equal to your left leg before you full out started playing your sport again. Below the lean analysis is a segment that's called ECW slash TBW analysis. This is an assessment of your body water. And if this number is particularly high, it means that you have some swelling on the inside or that your cell walls are not as strong as they should be. So this is a place where we notice inflammation or body retention of water sometimes when these numbers get elevated. Below this section is the history. And so if you've taken more than one in-body test, you'll be able to track your results and see what's going up and what's coming down because it'll make a graph of your results across the bottom of the sheet. I'm gonna to move to the top right of your results sheet. So this segment called segmental fat analysis is a description of how much fat is being stored in each segment of your body. So you can look at your right arm, your left arm, your trunk, and then your legs and see where fat is deposited. Most of us carry more fat in our trunk than in our limbs and so you'll be able to see that by noticing that the bar for trunk moves a little further to the right than probably your upper body or arms or your lower body or legs. Overall, I like to look at this and if you notice that your upper body and trunk are where you store your weight, you've maybe heard of people talking about being an apple shape or a pear shape. So if you're an apple shape, the upper body and trunk will have bars that reach further to the right and you'll see that more fat is stored there. If you're a pear shape, you'll probably see that your legs and your trunk are storing more of the weight in the lower body. We know that storing more of our weight in our lower body is associated with more health risks than if we store our weight in our upper body. But either way, no excuse. If there's a lot of fat stored in your trunk, that's what you need to know to make a decision to get healthy. Right below the segmental fat analysis is the basal metabolic rate that we talked about. This is the number of calories you burn in a day if you are sedentary and not doing any activity. The section below the basal metabolic rate is the visceral fat level. The visceral fat level is great to learn about because it actually gives you a number that tells you how much fat you're storing around your deep belly organs. The deep belly organs can store fat in such a way that that fat takes on the nature of an endocrine gland. It actually starts to make toxic hormones that are inflammatory inside the body. So the more belly fat you store, the higher your risk of disease. We know that the number 10 on this visceral fat score is kind of a critical breaking point that if your visceral fat score is below 10, your risk of heart disease and diabetes is actually about 50% lower than if this number rises above 10. If you have any questions about your results or you'd like to have a plan to either go over your own result sheet, you'd be welcome to email us and talk to your health coach. The other thing you can do with this information is use it to guide your program and your health coach would be happy to help you develop a nutritional plan and exercise plan to reach your goals. Thank you.